I'm going to show you how to create a pop-out effect of a 3D movie. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I provided this image of the inside of a widescreen movie theater, the shape of the movie screen that we'll use later, and an image of a dinosaur. Their links are in my video's description or project files. Feel free to use any image you like to pop out of the screen. Before we begin, if you haven't yet subscribed to Blue Lightning TV, click that subscribe button and welcome. We'll place our image onto the movie theater background. If your move tool isn't active, press V on your keyboard. Drag it onto the tab of the movie theater. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control or Command click the thumbnail of the movie screen to select its shape. Open back the Layers panel and click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. The reason the dinosaur is being confined to the movie screen shape is because the white area of the layer mask is revealing that portion of the dinosaur next to it, while the black area of the layer mask is masking out the rest of the dinosaur image. We'll resize our subject inside the layer mask, but before we do, click off the chain link icon, which unlinks the subject in the layer mask. Doing this allows us to reposition and resize either of them independently. Make the subject layer active, and open the Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Drag the image to the general area you'd like it to be. Make sure the Transform's bounding box is outside the shape of the movie screen. Go to one or more of the corners of the bounding box and drag it out or in to resize the image. To accept it, press Enter or Return. Next, we'll make parts of the subject pop out of the movie screen. In this example, I want the top of the dinosaur's head to pop out. Shift-click the layer mask to hide it. Open your Quick Selection tool and make its size approximately 10 pixels. Carefully drag the tool over the area of your subject you want to pop out. Don't be concerned with the rest of the selection, since the rest of your subject will remain inside the movie screen. By the way, if you want to remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. Contract it to pixels. Go back to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it to pixels. Shift-click the layer mask to unhide it, and click it to make it active. Open your brush tool. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Invert them by pressing X. Open the brush picker, and pick a soft, round brush. Make its size approximately 70 pixels. Its hardness is 0%, and its opacity and flow are 100%. Brush over the area you want to reveal. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. We'll convert our image and the movie screen into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel, and click Convert to Smart Object. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Make the original layer active, and go to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. The amount is 100, the Blur method is Zoom, and the quality is Best. Drag the Blur Center to the upper right corner, and click OK. We'll mask out the blur above our subject. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the blurred image. Invert the colors and brush over the blur above your subject. If you want to make your brush bigger, make sure the Caps Lock key is off and press the right bracket key, which is two keys to the right of the P key on your keyboard. Make a copy of it 
and change its blend mode to linear dodge. Reduce its opacity to 50%. Lastly, we'll add the projection light. Make the top layer active and make a new layer above it. Name it Projection Light. Invert the colors so white is our foreground color. Open your Pen tool and make sure Path is selected. Click your tool on the bottom right corner of the movie screen and release. Click on the upper right corner to make your first path. Release and click approximately here. Release and click approximately here. Release and click back on the first anchor point to complete the path. Right click or secondary click directly on the path to open the flyout list. Click Make Selection. Feather it 50 pixels. Fill the selection with white and deselect it. Reduce its opacity to 20%. Drag it below your subject. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.